During the decommissioning of a nuclear power plant, the following parties should participate. Federal, regional, and local bodies of government, the nuclear power plant operator. In Russia, this is Rosenergoatom. The Nuclear Safety Regulatory Agency. In Russia, this is Rostec Nadzor. And finally, the interested public who articulate their interests and request to participate in the nuclear power plant decommissioning process. These participants can cooperate within the framework of the Regional Public Council in terms of monitoring the decommissioning, addressing conflicts, and informing the public about the decommissioning process. For example, in Germany, during the decommissioning of the nuclear power plant Nord, the federal government initiated the creation of such a council. It included representatives of authorities at all levels, experts, nuclear power plant workers, political parties, and non-government organizations. The Council's work helped to ease social tensions during the decommissioning and ensured the transparency of the process. International experience shows that for effective cooperation among participants of nuclear power plant decommissioning, these principles should be followed. Transparency in decision-making in all political, technological, ecological, social, and economic spheres. The possibility for the public to participate in the decision-making. Independence of the environmental, technological, and financial monitoring of the plan and decommissioning project. Nuclear, radioactive, and ecological safety during the removal and handling of spent nuclear fuel and radioactive waste. Social protection of those personnel of the decommissioned nuclear power plant as well as the economic well-being of the neighboring town or city of the decommissioned nuclear power plant. And social responsibility toward future generations of citizens who will live near the locations of the decommissioned nuclear power plant and near the places of long-term storage facilities of radioactive waste and spent nuclear fuel. In summary, the more effective the cooperation will be among participants, the safer the process of decommissioning will be.